All right, so we have some of these glasses that I took apart and we're gonna go ahead and make a mold out of them using that silicone doing the front and then also we did some of the legs and then we stuffed them full of flowers and did this UV resin so put on the sun for them to get nice and hard and then actually with the legs I it just didn't work when I peaked it, it was still liquidy so we got to figure out how to fix that so let's go Squarespace so I think the sides of the mold were just too thick and so what we're gonna do is just shave it down with that there razor blade just fillet it like it's some nice Alaskan cod is there cod in Alaska I don't know I'm not a big fisherman I do like sushi sushi is probably my favorite food anyways I shave it down to the point where like you can kind of see through like you can see right there you can see that leg and I hope that that will work so I set that out in the Sun and pried it apart it was looking pretty good. Looked like it was hard and at least to have like some sort of form. But there's spaces and gaps in there. So I just add a little bit more flowers. And more flowers. And more flowers. And more of that UV resin. Wow. Look at you go. You're doing so great. I just did a quick little pass with the, the light to get it hardened. And then after it sitting in the sun, it looked really good. Except from the back, it was still like wet. So I figured it just was still too thick on that backside. So we're just going to cut it on up. Taking big old slices out of that. Honestly, it was kind of fun to cut up. But I got it down to a point where, like, you could see through. Or you could, like, kind of see the form of the leg through it on that side. And then I also did the other one, too. Except for I did get one part where I went through. Oops. So hopefully that won't matter. So while that's out there in the sun, we're going to actually take the front of the frames there's like these big spots like right there where the the glue was and we're just gonna shave it on down and this took forever there's something about like these tiny little mm, what's the word min mm, monotonous monotonous isn't the word T tedious I don't know these little like detail oriented projects I love doing that just like take a lot of time just like throw on the movie and start shaving off all the little seams in the glasses then I went through and actually just painted all of like the air bubbles that were in it. There were some that were like right there on the edge that I'm going to have to fix a different way. But for the most part, got them all filled in. I saw some parts where I'm like, oh, that could use a little bit more. So just put it on there and then paint it on top. And I'm just using that UV resin. So I just did a quick pass with the light. And then, of course, we're going to have to go put it outside in the sun for it to all the way here. And that leg's finally looking good. Yay, you're, you're, you're looking so good. Super stoked that like the detail of the text was showing up. So just quick pass of the UV light while it's outside of the mold. And now we just got to cut off all the seams. And eventually just use scissors. Yeah, good job. So yeah, on this glass, there's like little air bubbles right there on the edge. And to fix that, I just put a little piece of tape and then kind of paint it in the bubble and then hit it with the UV light so that there's like a little ledge where the tape was. So I just had to cut that ledge off or shave that ledge down to make it nice and even, nice and level, good job. And then I started seeing that there's a bunch of spots that weren't like very even, they're kind of rough. And so I thought what I'd do is I just put some tape on there and again, just like paint along that side. I didn't even paint, I just put a big old glob of that resin Hit it with the light so there's a big edge and then just like shave it on down to make it nice and even edge make it nice and cube cubicle Ugh, i don't know cubicle doesn't seem the right word but then i just shaved it down and did this like all over the entire glasses and added some more little pieces of flower that i thought needed it and we still have the other leg we need to do Ooh, i forgot about the other leg so shoving in some of them there flowers and by this time I felt like I was getting pretty comfortable with this process I found out that I just like put them in dry and then to add in the resin afterwards 
more was always better than less. Fill in the top and then put it on the sun. And it was looking pretty good. I mean, there were still some spots that like needed help. So I sealed it right there and then just filled the top and I let it sit for a little bit to hopefully let the resin settle in. Smooshed out all the air bubbles and put it out in the sun. Before we see how that did, pass me on something to say. Oh, deja vu. I'm back again. With a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Um, Squarespace, for those who don't know, or if you haven't seen a video of mine, because I'm always talking about Squarespace because I love them. But what Squarespace is, is it's your one-stop shop for all things website. So whether you want a domain, a blog, an online shop, literally anything you can think of, Squarespace has it and they have the tools so that you can make it look professional, on brand, and super user friendly. So for me, something really important is UI, UX, user experience, user interface meaning how easy it is for someone to like go through like your website or your whatever it is and like know what to do and then user interface is basically like does it look pretty so squarespace has both those unlocked if i have an idea if i want my website to act a certain certain way they have the tools to make it if i want to do my layout page where like you can see this offer there's a button right there that you can do you can scroll down learn a little bit more about it or up in the menu i can add add a little like thing for people who have signed into the be the schmooty pie i set that up ooh, probably in a I did I set that up in a day I actually made a little video about like can I make this member site in a day so it was super easy super quick and also I was able to use templates that match my branding but then personalize it so it was on point with everything I want wanted they have tools where you can you can just upload pictures and edit and crop them to how you want there they also have the function where like you can drag your pictures your text and make your website look exactly how you want it which is good because the first thing that people just see about you is your website and your branding so Squarespace has made that easy to make that look on brand and professional. So whether you're crafting, you have something to sell, or you just want to tell the world about it, or you want to set up a portfolio for future stuff, or, or literally anything you want to do, Squarespace has you covered. And they're doing something cool, and go to squarespace.com backslash mood, and start making your website today for free. free. And then when you do decide to launch it, make it public, or if you want to buy a domain, your first purchase, if you remember the coupon code SHMOOD, then you'll get 10% off that first purchase. You can go ahead and start making your website today. Space. So, with that second leg all cured, we're going to take it out, and in there, there you go. I also found out that once it was out, I like to put it back in the sun so it could fully cure. So, back to the front frames, I just took some sandpaper, I almost said saran wrap, it's not saran wrap, it's sandpaper, even out those sides, and then for the little, like, details, the hardware where the the glass are gonna meet up there's so much resin in there it took forever but I just had to like take a little razor blade and clean it out take acetone clean it out a little bit eventually you got nice and clean so for the little text detail I just took a little paint marker and just filled that little like engraving of the text I wasn't too worried about overflowing because we're gonna let it dry and sand it off so I did that to the other side and that's the name of those glasses once it was dry came in with some sandpaper shaped it down came in with the razor to get the details Did the same thing for the electric side and good it's looking good so I want these glasses to be like real shiny and because I use sandpaper on them it got all matte and not shiny so to shine it up I just took some of the resin and with a towel rag mushed it on there rubbed it on there sure you gotta do it to the legs as well this one you can really tell like how much shinier it got you can see right there where it wasn't shine where it wasn't so do the whole thing and then put it out in the sun do it to this guy as well and before after cool with it all shined up it did leave like kind of a little rough so i thought maybe if i sand it down if i could figure out a different way to shine it up i thought maybe if i use the isopropyl alcohol that that might shine up but it just didn't work so we just went back over with the resin again so to add the little details in the side of the arms took a drill and then matched uh, the drill size with the side of the little metal emblem and did it again and then in the metal there's like these two holes where the emblem slides into place so I made sure that was nice and clear added some super glue and then put on the emblem and with that, we're done. Just got to pop in the lenses again. Make sure those fit in and screw them in. Do the other side. Yeah. And before I show you how these ended up, 
Remember how I have that second pair that I used to make the mold? Well, I ended up dissolving them in these cute little food glasses and make the second pair. It honestly turned out so, so, so sick. So, through that and the reveal of both these glasses is going to come in part three. It's so cool. All right, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And yeah, if you want to be a Schmoody Pie and uh, get your name on my video here at the end, just go to my website.